Is your idea of an appetizer some tuna salad on a cracker? I'll show you how to take that to the next level when we make my spicy tuna tartare served on wontons. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep everything as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now today, we're not in our normal kitchen. We're outside in our little mountain hideaway in the mountains of Pennsylvania. So we are outside in a busy campground, and there may be some noises, a passing golf cart or a lawnmower, or maybe even a barking dog, but we'll do our best to get through. Now we're here because it's beautiful weather, and that means celebrating. And our celebration today is an hors d'oeuvre, we're making a spicy tuna tartare. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie the tuna, but this one's for you. So let's talk about tuna. We're, a tartare is a raw application, so this is gonna be a raw tuna. Now you don't wanna get any old tuna, you want a sushi grade or sashimi grade tuna. Now I can get it in my grocery store frozen. This is the brand I can get, it even says sushi grade wild caught on it. You can get things like this in most grocery stores, but if not, talk to the person behind the fish counter, see if they have it or if they can order it for you. It's not very expensive at all and it's very delicious. So I'm gonna need about eight ounces or 226 grams just diced up. I've started doing some, but I wanna show you how I did it. So I took a tuna steak, which is gonna cut it into planks. This is very, very cold. It's actually still a little frozen, which helps make it easier to cut. We're just gonna cut some planks. Cut it down like that. And then just in little pieces. They don't have to be perfect, but it's just that fast. I'll do a couple more. All right, now, put this in our little vessel here. Let's turn this over so I have a clean side. So here's our tuna. Now we're just gonna add some ingredients. We're gonna start with scallions, just the green part. I've got about three tablespoons. Simple, right in. Next is pine nuts or pignoli. That's these. Now you probably see these a lot at Christmas time, but they're great in this application too, and you can get them in any grocery store. Right in. A little bit of jalapeno. One, one and a half teaspoons. You can make it hotter, you can go back a little bit, but this is an amount that I like. Easy so far, huh? Finally, some ginger, teaspoon, grated. Fresh ginger, please. Right in. We can add a little more flavor. So first, I've got some soy sauce. This is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of soy sauce. This amber beautiful liquid is toasted sesame oil one tablespoon. This is very, very powerful, so you really want to be careful measuring this. All right, now I'm just going to stir this up. Now the great thing about this, some of this all you can do in advance. You can cut the tuna up, but you want to keep it refrigerated. But everything else you want to do right before you serve it. You don't want this sitting around and it's so delicious, you won't be able to let it sit around. 
All right. Now, how are we going to serve this? I have some wonton skins. Now, I bought these at the store. You can find them in any grocery store, usually in the produce section where they have vegetarian and vegan items. All I did with these is I put a little oil on a sheet pan and I baked them off for about 10 minutes. I'll have all the instructions up in the comment section. So we'll just put these out. Just a few. And look, we're just going to spoon it over the top. Nice dollop. Right there. Right in the center. How simple is that? And look how pretty that is. That red tuna. Delicious. So I'll just assemble these quickly. You really only need about that much on, you know, a hearty tablespoon or so. You will probably get around 12 of these, maybe a little more from this amount of tuna. Oh, delicious. All right, here we go. It's time for my favorite time, the tasting. I'll just take this one, it's the closest one to me. This is, will it be a little messy? Mmm. Wow. Mmm. 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 Little messy, but worth it. That tuna is so fresh. Little brightness from the jalapeno, just a tiny bit of heat. The pine nuts, really get a nice crunch. And that sesame oil is in the background. Oh, delicious. You need a little sip of wine, though, to rinse it down. Hmm, that's good stuff, too. All righty, as always, we will have this recipe and all the instructions in the description section on YouTube and up on our website as well. And as always, guys, We'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers!